Hey guys, what's going on? I'm at the K-Man Q here. We have a panel problem going on. Mike the K-Man dot com, and we're gonna be doing our second edition of Mike the K-Man hitting the streets. And like I said yesterday's video, I'm in West Virginia still right now. And what we're gonna be doing though, you're gonna get to see a little bit of behind the scenes, a little bit of beautiful scenic West Virginia. You see a little bit of the training, some of my clients the previous week, and you're gonna get to hear a little bit about some ways to optimize triathlon training and nutrition for that, as well as a little bit about adrenal and thyroid support. We're going to interpose that with a little bit of the footage, that way we keep it rolling. So, hopefully you enjoy. So just real quick while you get to stare at this beautiful scenery, I'm going to discuss a little bit about a question I got regarding triathlon training and using a ketogenic approach for it. And uh, effectively, what you want to do when you're using a ketogenic approach is you want to make sure you're fat adapted. The reason being, well, you have more fat stores than you'll ever have glycogen. Regardless of how lean you are, you're still going to have roughly 30,000 to 100,000 calories in a normal weight person from fat. Whereas muscle glycogen has roughly 350 to 500 grams stored and roughly 100 grams in your liver. As such, you'll only have roughly 1,400 to 2,400 calories total in terms of sugar stored in your body. So in order to actually be able to properly complete a triathlon, if you're trying to be a sugar burner, you're going to have to keep replenishing. The beauty of becoming fat adapted is that you can actually tap into those fat stores much easier. Plus, if you go with a ketogenic approach, you'll be able to provide an alternative fuel to your brain that will essentially supercharge it. The literature for using a ketogenic protocol for improving sports performance is rapidly growing and at this point almost undeniable. In terms of being able to take particularly triathlon and other endurance training to the max, a ketogenic approach is definitely your best bet. Conversely, Another question where it likely isn't the best bet is if we're dealing with adrenal or thyroid issues, as you'll likely need a little bit of carbohydrate intake, or you're going to need to minimize your external stressors of other types. In both of those cases, which are rarely mutually exclusive, the problem is that you're going to put a stress on your body that your body isn't able to handle, and what happens? You start to get dysfunction in those systems. So, your thyroid craps out, then your adrenals can crap out, and vice versa. And what is a major factor that plays into that? Well, way too much stress. And unfortunately, a ketogenic protocol, while being beneficial, if you go there too far, too long, along with too many other stresses, then yeah, it can be a problem. So for the quick bullet point of what can we do about that, your best bet is going to be to reduce your stress of all types in any way you can. Deal with your stress, get your sleep in, get in the sun, Basically, manage that in any way you can. From there, look at some additional support to the HPA axis and or the thyroid. 
ideal situation, I've seen a lot of success with ashwagandha and CBD or cannabidiol. Both of those are going to help to regulate the adrenals and the serotonergic receptors, which in turn should help to allow your thyroid and adrenals to reset. And the answer is... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's I'm the king.